We have to first clarify that Belize City, where you'd fly into, is not an island. BZE Airport uh, and Belize itself is located in Central America and it is bordered to the north by Mexico, to the south and west by Guatemala, and to the east by the Caribbean Sea. Now, where we like to go is San Pedro Island, so it is an island, and we like to take a quick 15-minute flight using Maya Air, our Tropic Airlines, to get there versus the three-hour boat ride that you could take which is way less expensive but you know if time is money you want to get there right away so here's another tip uh everyone pretty much travels via golf carts um so as you saw there we have a golf cart that we tend to use for the whole entire trip uh definitely get one of those probably it cost you about a hundred us dollars um maybe a little bit more but it's definitely uh, a lot cheaper and a lot con more convenient than having to order a taxi or having someone else drive you and pick you up. So depending on where you stay, they may have them available. Where we like to stay at is the Twisted Palms Villas, uh, which is on the north part. Just to let you know, there is a north and a south part. I would say the north is more where... Uh, Things are not as developed, but it, they're, it's more up and coming. Uh, you're away from where I would say most of the locals do reside, uh, but in the south is where all of the happenings is going on. That's where we tend to go. We sleep in the north and we party and eat and be entertained in the south. Our resort also grants us free water excursion access. Yeah. So as I mentioned, golf cart is the main transportation around on the island especially if you're going to stay in the north and you want to visit the south We've, we go to the south every day but we stay in the north as i mentioned so a golf cart is necessary it is a bumpy ride but it's quite fun uh one thing i love about san pedro is that you don't know who's a local you don't know who's a tourist everybody blends everyone is just living there is no gimmicks no schemes no nothing we're just living enjoying the minimal of life uh, but such rich in culture um, you know the ambiance the views the everything is just amazing and the food here we go Neri's tacos Neri tacos is our everyday spot for breakfast we get the fish burrito on the left the fish fry jack on the right and the sauces are must um, breakfast tends to be early and then they have other options at night we won't get into that but just go okay as you see one US dollar is the equivalent of three Belize and that means we out here ball and good vibes only honey so what else well grab a couple of your friends and rent a catamaran and on be in between doing that taking some photos hop into the ocean swim with the sharks do the great barrier reef and make your way over to k cocker which is another island not too far from san pedro um island hop have good old time just relax just chill just unwind now, two coast, two sisters, we love the animals. So one of the things that we did, uh, I think it was probably our first visit, was go to Saga Humane Society and volunteer. We volunteered to play with the shelter animals. We played in their uh, their environment, and we also took them out for a walk. Now, we was going to foster a dog or two, but after that walk, we was like, this too much, we got to take their asses back. So uh, we just played with them for a little bit, and he was on our way. So what else is there to do? There's Carnival. If you can get there in April, that is the time to go experience the paint streets, streets in the paint, or hop back over to the main land and go to the Mayan ruins, or simply just relax, release, rejuvenate and be refreshed until you get back home honey most importantly make sure you are laughing and having a great time thank you guys so much for watching